My name is Niels Moizhnex. I'm of Latvian origin. I was elected from Latvia, but I was born and raised in the United States. My parents were refugees there, and I moved to Latvia right after independence. My academic training is in political science, uh, but I've been doing human rights work for the last 20 years uh, in various capacities, running an NGO in the government, uh, uh, in academia, and I'm the third commissioner for human rights. I face the challenge of pushing for human rights uh, in a context of economic crisis where people consider human rights to be a luxury. The crisis affects not only social and economic rights, it affects uh, the most vulnerable in society, it affects access to legal aid, it, it affects everything. I'm particularly interested in the impact of the crisis on children's rights, on the rights of women, on the rights of older persons, uh, but also on access to justice and on equality more broadly. One of the biggest issues is migration and asylum, and this is a, an issue that is common to many places, but European cooperation on, on this very important issue does not exist, or it's in a very weak state. People with an irregular status cannot return to their homes, uh, but cannot uh, regularize their status. We made it for the children, uh, sure. us, for the future of children. I wanted to come here to see, to, to meet with you, to hear your stories and so that I could try to convince governments elsewhere in Europe to do more. The key thing is to personalize victims or, or targets of human rights violations to, to understand that they are people um, just like me and you that want to that want to live better. It is the most vulnerable that needs the attention of human rights advocates the most. Um, and their plight, their message, and the things that need to be done to change their situation needs to be communicated to those who have the power to change it. Are the studies tough? Basketball? Football. I think a key part of any human rights work is empathy. If you don't have that empathy, you will become a selfish human rights person, standing up only for your own rights and not for those of others. It's important to let it touch you because the emotional impact of it can motivate you to do more, to help, to change. Uh, it can give you anger sometimes about uh, things that should be done that aren't done. Whenever we go to a country, we try to meet with the full spectrum of stakeholders in, in human rights. First we meet with NGOs, experts, journalists, civil society associations, people who can tell us what kind of uh, messages they would like us to convey to the government, tell us basically from their experiences on the ground. Have a right to look into the file eventually. And then of course we meet with ministers and parliamentarians. My job is to put human rights on their agenda, uh, to remind them of things they probably know but for which they have forgotten or they have not been reminded sufficiently often. I think the commissioner, since it's a personalized post, has to have in some way uh, some kind of a personal authority that makes people want to listen to him and to engage with him or her. In the context of our discussion,
Well, baby, sorry, nice sorry, to to keep, meet you. sorry to keep you waiting. And the focus of our visit is on racist violence. Human rights awareness raising is, is, a, is a key part of my mandate and it's through the media and through contacts with journalists that we can do this best. I'm not alone. Not only do I have my own team, but I have the Council of Europe, uh, which is a large organization, and people of goodwill uh, in the 47 member states who really want to push for human rights. Merci, le Président. Uh, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, uh, dear colleagues, it's a great pleasure to be here again. Um, I just returned from a very interesting trip to Greece, about which I will... Uh... Human rights is a struggle in which you're always losing. Human rights are always being violated, and the victories are not that common. Uh, but you have to convince yourself and others that it is the best struggle to engage in, and you have to really celebrate the victories when they do come. That's the key thing, is not, not, not to work for ourselves or just to go through the motions, but, but to, to really help people. That's what this job is all about, and that's what, that's what human rights are all about, is to help people live better lives.